Although the school year is nearing its end, there are still incidents occurring within the high school arena. Last night, it went locally viral that students of Madison Southern were using racial slurs to target a 16-year-old sophomore. WBON TV has reached out to the school for comment, but has yet to receive a response. However, we did get an extensive interview with the parents, Jonas Hill and Susan Hill. Jonas is a pastor of Crossroads Fellowship Church here in Madison County. Their daughters, Macy and Mariah Hill, who attend the high school, say that they have been targeted like this multiple times. Four Paws Unleashed brings a new state-of-the-art approach to pet care. Their suites are designed to feel like an elite hotel room, complete with Simmons Beautyrest mattresses and TVs. Four Paws also has grooming services available as well. Visit their website, fourpawsunleashed.com, to find out more. Basically what happened was yesterday we were just kind of minding our own business. She had a couple of friends over, you know, they were out out on the back deck playing some foosball and her phone starts ringing so she she checks it and somebody is inviting her into their group and she responded and then this person added her she noticed that it was the ROTC group from Madison Southern um, is what it said uh, at the top of the page and then as she started reading uh, they started using the n-word multiple times and they actually you know, listed it several, several times on on the page, and it was clear that many of the people in the group were harassing her, you know, just because of her ethnicity. So uh, from that point, she doesn't respond. Uh, we're in our bedroom, and all of a sudden, we hear somebody banging on our door, on our bedroom door, and we can tell it's Macy, and she's crying. So she's crying hysterically. We opened the door because we didn't know what happened. She had her phone in her hand. And whenever she was able to tell us, I mean, she comes in the door, she buries her face in my chest. And then she says, Daddy, look what they've done. Look what they've done. And she's just weeping and bawling. I don't know how many times the N-word was used, but it's multiple times. They copied and pasted it uh, multiple times. I mean, it looked like a hundred times or more. And, uh and she was just weeping and crying, and, you know, I'm trying to figure out, well, how do we get to the bottom of this? And previous history with this uh, group of, of students, um, especially one ringleader boy, um, was uh, several months back when school was still in session. The parents say this is by no means an isolated experience. And at which point Macy went to the teacher and felt very dismissed of her feelings. Uh, kind of the statement was, well, I don't think he meant it in that way. She um, has just had a really rough couple years with yeah. some racial issues. Yeah, this is just kind of a boiling point where it all started to boil over. I mean, there's an incident last year where I, I had to contact the school and I spoke directly with the principal um, because several months uh, before that, um, they went into the, one of my girls, one of my daughters went into the bathroom and in the stall, they had written the N word. Okay. So my daughter goes, she reports it, uh, in the office. She said, okay, we're going to take care of it. Well, eight months later, my daughter's company said, daddy, they, they still have not removed that. I said, what? And so I called and I asked to speak directly with the principal and they went in there and it was still there. And he, thankfully, he immediately had it removed after that. But I'm thinking, this has been eight months. Why do my children have to endure this for eight months? You know, my girls are coming to me saying, Daddy, I don't feel safe. Or, Daddy, they said this about me. They called me this word. And then I'm telling my kids, well, you know, turn the other cheek. You know, we're going to have to live with some stuff like this. But listen, no child should ever feel unsafe. No child should ever feel disrespected, especially in a school. Inside of Madison Southern High School, the kids, uh, several of the kids would wear the rebel flag. And, you know, but they were doing it in a way to um, intimidate my daughters. Well, you guys just got off the phone. You informed me with Principal Watkins. Do you want to say what he told you moving forward? Um, he said he he said he wanted to assure us that he is trying. He's dealing with the situation. He's dealing with the situation. Um, you know, I think as parents, you know, we feel that there's just time for change. You know, we live in, uh, you know, 
2020, um, hiding behind certain freedoms of speech and saying you can't prevent children from wearing things that um, are uh, racially offensive or are, um, you know, keeping them from learning. You know, it's time that we it's time that we make some changes and understand that, you know what, we have to make all of our students feel safe, oh. not just, you know, the majority. We have to make our minorities feel heard, uh, feel safe, and let them know that we're there for them. Madison Southern posted on social media that the incident includes behavior that does not and will not be representative of the school or community. The school says that any incident such as this will be handled in the most serious manner. For Channel 9 News, I'm Marissa Hempel.